Why you suck at making melodies? <sighs> a question I've been asking myself for like two months. Every morning I freaking wake up, I'm like going in the mirror, I'm like spitting on what I see in the mirror because I just hate how my melodies have been sounding. It stops now. Okay. For like the last year, my goal with producing is really for me to be the best at everything. I mean, I know it's not gonna happen. There's people way more talented than me, but I don't care. I'm setting the bar high for myself. One of the things I feel like I've struggled with is being able to do stuff from scratch and being able to make a product in the end that I'm proud of. I feel like I've been working on that for like the last two months and I'm gonna take you guys through that process. I'm gonna make a couple melodies and let you guys decide which one you like the most. Whichever one you guys decide, I'm gonna drop in my Discord. This 4,000 likes. I have a new kit. It's probably gonna drop next week. We're like really getting close to the date. But yeah, I'm gonna pick a bunch of commenters once this hit 4,000 likes to send this kid to listen boom and one thing i'll say when making melodies the less i think about it the better i do always man i think everybody's problem they're so critical on themselves they start something and they'll just immediately just move on to the next idea sometimes you just got to see it through my boy get them ass ideas out of the way and then you're just going to improve just by forcing yourself to get through doing melodies so i'm just going to pick some random lead out right here what you can do is you can use scale highlighters i like to use them myself but i'm just going to mess around on my keyboard and try to come up with some kind of cool simple thing and then i'm going to build off that what you could do is come over here. I like to dump score log, which is last two minutes. It'll just do whatever you did on your keyboard. Come up with something mad simple like this, and this is literally how I start some ideas. This, like it's not on time, I don't care. I really do not care if it's on time. As long as it's looping on time, then everything's gonna kind of catch up on its own. I could just build off of this. I'm gonna turn off this mono so that all the notes play together. I just run with ideas. If they don't work, you literally be able to tuck them away somewhere in the back and it's fine. Use it more as like an undertone or as a texture. Don't overthink too much. You can make most things work. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna try and find like some type of synth. Got this shit, baby. Come on. We do this shit once a week. I just need you to fucking perform, please. Just fucking perform for me, baby. I want to see your boobs. We're gonna have to bounce all these <laughs> so that my computer stops lagging. I like this sound a lot, but I think what might be cool is that maybe we chop these one of these up and reverse it. And what I'm doing here is I'm just chopping it. That's where it restarts. So this would actually make it so that the chords are in the proper progression. You could just do really cool stuff just by flipping something around, sampling the thing that you actually make yourself. Every time you do something, it just makes it a little bit more unique. That's usually like what my thought process is. I try to see if like the main melody will sound nice pitched down as well. So I usually duplicate it and we'll try. Cut out the low end, it'll definitely work. Let's add like a bass. We're just gonna follow the root notes here. Now we just gotta find a sound that works. All right, I'm gonna bounce this too, just because, you know, the computer. <sighs> Sucking my dick every day. Some street dudes. Yeah, of course, bro. It is hot. Shout out Mirror Touch boys. I got the Mirror Touch sample hat here. This is not a sponsored thing. I'm just supporting the old roommate. Mirror Touch hat's coming soon for sure. This would be the intro, this would be the 16 bar hook, this would be the verse. I'm just gonna lay down very simple drums going on my new kid. Let's do some hard shit. Go like this, this should work. Baby, give me 15 minutes of your time, I promise you, I'm putting you down for the rest of the day. Zaddy, one of my like homeboys, he's a zaddy. Like when he's shirtless. What? I like the beat. If you're at this point in the video and you're like, this shit sucks, then get the fuck off of the video. I don't do this for you, dog. It's for me. I want to be happy when I look in the mirror every day. I do this if you want to soak up game. The little game I have to give. Game for beats. Let me know if you like this one more or the second one that you haven't heard yet. Peep the drip. I know y'all heard of the apple bottoms, but y'all ain't heard of the cherry bottoms, baby. We got the cherry bottoms on. The fuck? For this one, I'm gonna go for more of a chill, upbeat vibe. Let's just find some keys. 
Easy enough. Come over here, I'm gonna don't select a pattern here. I'm gonna just gonna merge and just take the last two that I had and fix it. Is as soon as you got something just as simple as two chord progression just like that, I just start putting drums on it and I start thinking about what I hear on it, melodies that are popping into my head. There's no right way to do it. Let's we'll start with more chill to it. Really simple two-step just to get the vibe. Simple as this. Oh, serum don't die on me now. Can't handle this no more. What's good? Whoops. Wow. Right now, you're like, what the fuck is this kid doing? This shit sounds terrible. Trust the process. Trust the process. Because that's all that really matters. <laughs> And I think for this little part here, I'm gonna add it to the mixer and then just do some different stuff to it. Add some micro shift. You already know what that does from the last two videos. If you don't know, don't ask me, bro. Go ask Simon Sabrina. He knows all the answers to all the fucking educational shit. I don't know any of it, bro. If you ask me what an A chord is, I don't even know what to tell you what notes are in that thing. It might just be all the white keys, but I don't know anything beyond that. The last thing this thing needs for it to not sound like ass like it does right now is some type of arp or something that gives it another rhythm or like a counter melody type of thing. Actually, it's add, it's add some laser shots, some accents. Bounce that real quick. Bet you if we come up with something cool with some type of like manually made arp, we'd be able to have some fire happen. Blow, bitch. Bitch, I'm on my way to beat the f*** out of you, okay? So I'm gonna treat this more as like an effect because I just don't like the way the second half of it sound. But like I said, you could just roll with whatever goes on and you'll be surprised sometimes what comes out like when you do stuff like I did rather than the normal thing it was. And I kind of like how it came out. This sound kind of brings it that like more upbeat rhythm, but also like I don't like how it sounds that much in like front of the mix. So Probably micro shift again just because it's gonna widen everything. Why? In the beginning, you kind of want to have most of your sound. People move loops really fast, even I do. And if there's nothing that catches my ear, like I'm moving on. Put a good load of the sounds in the front and then you'll be able to kind of arrange it based on how you would like the track actually arranged, like with drums or whatever. You start off like this. And this would be like the verse section here. And then here, probably go something like this. Dot com. Just pitch this one up as well. Pitch it down actually. All the way, a whole semitone. <laughs> yeah, I'll just have to move that one one more early just so you'll be able to hear that. Just because it is like triplet times. It's all laid out already, but what I'm gonna do is actually lay it out like a loop and then make a beat out of the loop itself. If you make a melody, you just gotta trust it sometimes. Go with whatever idea happened. Here I'm just laying it out very simple, giving it space too. So I got the loop pulled up, just how I sectioned it out. So I'll be able to just stack all these on top of each other, everything will be good. And we're just gonna build this thing out. And I'm gonna try to speed run this too. It'll be like this. Let me know which one you think is the best one, the first one or the second one.